एवरीवन वेलकम टू ग्रे पार्ट बटरी फ्लेकी क्रोजांस एंड इफ इट इज होममेड नथिंग बेटर देन दैट सो टुडे वी आर मेकिंग चॉकलेट होममेड क्रोजांस द डो इज लेयर्ड विद बटर रोल्ड फोल्डेड सेवरल टाइम्स टू गेट द फ्लेकी टेक्सचर सिमिलर टू अ पफ पेस्ट्री बट हियर आई एम शोइंग यू अ डिफरेंट एंड इजी मेथड सो इन टू अ लार्ज बाउल एड एन ऑल पर्पज फ्लॉर some powdered sugar and instant yeast give it a mix you have to also add some salt at this point of time now add in warm milk you have to add only warm milk not hot milk now mix it and make it into a soft dough you have to knead it really well to activate the gluten Now spread some oil on top and cover it and keep it in a warm place. After 1 hour you can see it got doubled up. Now give it a punch and knead it once more. Now take out the dough from the bowl. Spread some flour on the countertop and place the dough and make it into a log shape Now I'm going to cut this into 12 small pieces So each one of my croissant will have 12 layers And if you want more layers you can cut it into more numbers Now take each piece and make it into a ball and keep it aside Now you have to roll out each balls. Now I'm going to call each rolled out ball as a layer. So our first layer is ready. Place that on a plate and sprinkle some flour and keep it aside. Now let's roll out the second one. Place the second layer on top of the first layer and sprinkle flour again. Now similarly roll out all the balls. Now once all the layers are rolled out take a new plate and place one layer and apply a generous amount of room temperature butter on top of the first layer and place the second layer on top of it now again on top of the second layer apply good amount of butter remember the butter should be of room temperature now let's place the third layer on top of it Likewise you have to stack all the 12 layers on top of each other. So first apply butter then stack the next layer. So you almost need around 80 g of butter for this. In my channel I have already shown a different method of how to make homemade puff pastry sheets. I'll put the link in the description box or click the i button above. Now when you place the last layer don't apply any butter on top of it instead pull it down to cover all the layers Now cover this with a cling film 
Now you have to refrigerate this for around 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, take it out and open it. Now place the entire buttery layers onto the countertop. Sprinkle some flour and start rolling it together. You have to roll it very gently and carefully. The butter should not come out while rolling. If you feel like the butter is getting melted, you can keep it back into the refrigerator for some time, then take it out and again roll it. Now you have to mark this into minor sectors, the same way you cut your pizza slices. But bit smaller than that. The size of each sector decides the size of your croissants. So if you decided to stop your markings with 4, then you're gonna get 8 large croissants. But if you give 4 more cuts, then you're gonna get 16 mini croissants. So you have to decide you're gonna go with the numbers or the size. I have slightly rolled out each pieces and then give a small slit at the top and as I am going to make a chocolate croissant, I placed a small piece of cooking chocolate and rolled it out. But if you want plain croissants, you can simply roll it out because even without any filling, these flaky croissants taste really delicious. So carefully roll out all the croissants in the similar way. Now after making all the croissants, give it a rest for 30 minutes for proofing. Then give all the croissants a egg wash, which gives them a beautiful golden shade while baking. Now bake these beauties in a 200 degree preheated oven for 20 minutes or until you can see this beautiful golden shade on top. Oh my goodness, my kitchen was smelling divine at this point of time. Nothing can beat the beautiful aroma of freshly baked croissants. Look at the beautiful flaky texture of the croissants with the melting chocolate inside. This is heaven. So definitely try out this buttery flaky croissants which taste incredibly delicious. Find out more interesting pictures on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google Plus and Pinterest. Click the logo to subscribe to Greypot and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the notifications of new videos. Watch more interesting and unique recipe videos from our channel Greypot. Do check it out. Thank you.